I was exposed to printmaking on my undergraduate course by very, very passionate printmakers who really did kind of, it became quite an infectious thing. So yeah, um, it was early, well, not that early stages, but you know, on, the, on my degree course. And how would you describe your creative process? My practice is predominantly painting, although I use printmaking to inform that, that practice, my practice generally, and I think it sort of, it informs it in all sorts of ways, because it's somehow, printmaking for me, sits between sort of painting and drawing. And it sort of allows me to, to kind of inform my practice generally. What do you like, if you do like anything, about being in a printmaking workshop? I really enjoy the kind of possibilities, or not be, of, of actually assuming that you're in control, but actually not. I think the, the idea that anything can happen and that even though you think that you're in control, you're not always sure of the outcomes. Of the processes that you've worked with, which have you most enjoyed and why? I always enjoy monoprinting because for me that's the most immediate um, process. And again, I think it's because it somehow sits between painting and um, drawing. So it's very immediate and spontaneous and it doesn't rely on me going through too many processes. So um, monoprinting usually hand in hand with other um, processes, possibly with you know introducing something like chine collet or some other collage elements. Um, but yeah, mostly monoprinting. And do you keep a sketchbook? If you keep one, how do you translate or transfer your sketched images to printed images? I do keep a sketchbook, um, but it's more of a kind of um, visual shorthand. You know, I don't tend to kind of make uh, sustained works in my sketchbook. I just, I, I do use it in a sort of note-taking way. So very often, in terms of it, it doesn't specifically inform the printmaking, it's much more about um, having a, a notion about bringing sort of certain elements together. Um, and, and often, if it is in relation to printmaking, it's about very sort of formal things like, you know, the kind of relationships between um, balance of tone or the format of something or the shape of something. So, uh, yeah, or I may have little sketches that start informing the developing works, but I don't have any fixed thing that I bring into a print room. And how would you like to develop your printmaking practice? I just think it's always an amazing place to kind of be playful and have um, and sort of learn new things about your practice. So. I, I do periodically spend time in the print room just to kind of be more playful with, with the images that I'm working with and just to see what happens and something always does and it's always what you least expect. <laughs>